So if you haven't anchored into your word for 2023, I invite you to do so. Today's podcast is really a moment in time and an invitation to you to reflect on this year that's gone by and to be with the year that you would like to create for yourself moving forward. So with the energy of the water rabbit, that that energy of longevity, doing things for the long term, taking small steps to then create bigger results in the future that are sustainable, that have that energy of long term, not just these momentary experiences or these momentary actions that we take that have us feeling good for a short amount of time. This energy of prosperity and coming back to that exchange, that exchange of a mutual exchange, not an exchange that feels like you're giving more and you're receiving less or you're receiving more and you're giving less. It's about harmony. It's about balance. And then, of course, there's the element of peace. And my my one of my first values is inner peace. And so if something is taking me out of my inner peace, I know that it's not for me. It's out of alignment. And it's also an indicator of where there is more work to be done and where clearer decisions need to be made and where greater discernment is required. And so this episode is very much around the invitation of making sure that you've created the space to reflect, that you've created the space to get clear on what you're moving forward with. If there's anything that you are required to let go of, then now is the time. Now is the time to Let it move out of your system. I've spent the past two nights really having these solid cries, these deep, deep cries of grief, of really coming into a space of letting go, fully letting go of no longer being interested in anything in my life that doesn't come with the energy of mutual exchange. I am such a giver and I have a great capacity to receive, which is something that has taken me many, many years to cultivate. And I'm now at a place in my life where I'm not interested in being in any sort of exchange that doesn't feel balanced. This doesn't bring longevity. This doesn't create prosperity and it most certainly doesn't bring peace. And so with the year of the water rabbit, keeping in mind that these are the energies, we cannot have peace when we haven't taken the time to reflect on what's past and let go of what is no longer in alignment. And so invitation, invitation, invitation to prioritize yourselves and to get really clear on what your focus is for the year. My intention for this year in all relating fields, whether it be with human beings, whether it be with objects, whether it be with subjects, whether it be with concepts or money or anything 3D related and 5D related, anything that is in my relating field, the intention that I am bringing to everything that I bring myself to is pure, wholesome, committed love. This is the place that I am choosing to show up from this year. And so what is your intention for the year? What is the place that you are choosing to show up from? What is it for you that is so clear that you know that when you fully immerse yourself in that space, you are going to fulfill yourself on all levels? For those of you who have been following me for a long while, you'll know that I'm a deep lover. I love to love. And one of the things that hurts me the most is when there is a barrier that is put in between me loving and me giving and me sharing and me experiencing. When there's a barrier that's put in in front of me, it doesn't feel good. And this doesn't feel like a mutual exchange. It doesn't feel like a mutual exchange of giving and receiving. And 
we know that when a cup is full and you try to put more water into it, it overflows. And so this is a beautiful place to be in. I love to be in the place of, of overflow. At the same time though, if there is too much of anything and there isn't a space for it to flow into. So if you think of a river and you think of a beautiful waterfall and all of the water moving down into a space, into the watering hole, an overflow is created and the water continues to move. Now, if there's no space afterwards for it to continue to flow, then it builds up and it builds up and it builds up and it needs to find a place to go and can often cause destruction if the environment around it isn't an environment that can receive all of the water. So too much of anything is not a good thing. But overflow that has a place to go is a really beautiful way of being in the world. There's space for it to move and continue on. And so my question to you today is, where do you feel like you are giving too much? And where do you feel like you are receiving too much? Have you managed to get yourself to a place of balance? Or is there an energy of too much or not enough?